Hello Acoustic Guitar Form, um, Mythos 1979 coming at you again. Happy New Year everybody, it's 2021. Uh, really hoping that this year is a whole lot better than uh, last year. So anyway, I wanted to do a video review and demo um, of my most recent acquisition, which is a Froggy Bottom H12 Deluxe. Uh, this guitar is a 2006 model. I picked it up um, on Reverb just before Christmas. Really wasn't looking for it, but uh, Froggy Bottom is one of those guitar makers that I always um, really admired. I played a Brazilian H14 used back several years ago at the Music Emporium and fell in love with the tone. Uh, and then, of course, I'd been following along as people um, raved about them over the years. On acoustic guitar form. So it was a guitar I always uh, figured that I would eventually try out. I kind of thought it would be my retirement guitar. And I am coming up to retirement here. So anyway, this one popped up. Um, it was a, a beautiful example. The H12 is their uh, O OM body size with a 12 uh, fret neck. 25-inch uh, scale. This particular one has a has a one and three-quarter inch nut and a two and three sixteenths inch string spacing. It's an Adirondack top with a beautiful burst finish. It's East Indian rosewood back and sides. Perfectly straight grain, very dark, nice. It has a curly maple binding, top and bottom. Everywhere you look, um, it has a the, the deluxe model. Appointments are it has a single abalone ring around the sound hole. It has a single abalone um, Strip on the back Backside which is beautiful. This one also has a really nice uh, scrimshaw uh, End cap here. It's a mountain lion in like a evergreen forest. It's just gorgeous um, They don't make those anymore the person who did that particular one who made them for 20 years retired uh, it's got a level 5 abalone um, fret markers, which is very nice. And then, of course, it has the uh, Froggy Bottom logo, also done in abalone, uh, and uh, along with the slotted headstock. It's got a couple of upgrades on it, primarily the gold Waverly tuners and the sunburst finish. Those are upgrades from the standard deluxe model. Uh, 2006 model, um, it wasn't, uh, the pictures on in the reverb ab weren't that great. There were a couple things I wasn't wild about. I wasn't really crazy about the uh, sunburst finish. I, I do like dark finish guitars. I'm just not typically, fav uh, I prefer more of an amber tone type thing or a, uh, or a dark uh, all mahogany guitar. Uh, and uh, the end cap I really wasn't quite sure about and then the logo uh, all of the the logos are very different in this one the photo of it wasn't that great it actually has a little bit of a burst finish to it which matches the burst which is nice um, the owner of the guitar who bought it used back in 2013 and it was in dead mint condition um, you know, said that the pictures didn't do it justice and that it was, in fact, still in dead mint condition because he'd never, he'd never played it. So anyway, I took a, you know, we came to an agreement on a price. I took a, took a chance, a gamble again, and um, yeah, it really paid off. I was really, really very surprised when I got the guitar just how nearly dead mint it is. It has one minor ding back here on the underside uh, of the heel corner there. Can't even see it. Um, other than that, <laughs> there's not a mark on this, including uh, no fretware of any kind, although I'm, I'm going to wear it down pretty quick here. So uh, right out of the gate, uh, very lightweight build, as you would expect from a high-end maker like uh, Froggy Bottom. Uh, I'm not sure the strings on here. I didn't change them. They look like they're in pretty good shape. They look like they're probably a, a Diodario coated uh, uh, Phosphor bronze strings. I do have some John Pierce lights, 8020s I'll be putting on it eventually, but these are good enough. So what I wanted to do today, besides talk about the guitar a little bit, is to play it. Uh, one thing that uh, I've noticed, I've played a couple of shows now here in AGF Open Mic, and then also 
I played a, um, a New Year's Eve show with my wife and our, and our acoustic duo. It's a very, very loud guitar. Uh, not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but I've had to, um, I'm having to really learn to, to adjust to this. Now, I used to love uh, Rosewood back and side guitars. I have not owned one in several years. It's been all mahogany guitars for me. So I'm very used to that dry, woody tone. I'm sure that contributes at least slightly to the uh, uh, to the volume. All right. So one thing I wanted to do <clears throat> I'm also going to grab a pick to play. So I want to demo demo the guitar. I'm going to play a little bit of delicate finger style, and then I'm going to do a little bit of simulated pick strumming, which I do with just my my finger. Uh, index finger and, and, and thumb pressed together, and then I'll, I'll play it with a pick. So, just gonna do a, a, a song here. Lots of overtones, that really lush, wet kind of sound. I am just recording on my cell phone, uh, unfortunately. Um, uh, hopefully it'll sound pretty decent. So here is played with a pick. So that's really loud to me sitting right here with this up in uh, the sound hole so close to my face. And then the last thing I wanted to do is I'm going to play a little bit with my, uh, my fingers just to kind of show what that sounds like. That's actually pretty pretty loud and sounds pretty good. Uh, one thing I do like about that uh, when I'm uh, when I'm playing live streaming to my ear trumpet labs Edwina mic, um, I like when I'm playing finger style. I can go use that technique and not have to worry about grabbing a pick. Um, one thing I noticed when I was playing uh, recently in the two shows is that this guitar with a pick is very loud. I actually have to back away from the mic quite a bit. My wife has to, who's singing, has to has to step up. So the other thing I wanted to do real quick is to do exactly the same songs on my um, other main guitar, which is a Martin D1 All Mahogany Dread, just so you can kind of get a difference, uh, you can hear the difference between. This guitar is actually louder, and I'm not sure if that is, part of that is due to the the overtones and the lush ringing as opposed to the dry, you know, warm mahogany of this guitar. But I'm going to play the same riffs the exact same way, hopefully, so.
So there's the finger style piece. There's the strummer with the pick, and I'm using a blue chip CT55, if that matters to you. Very nice, very loud. Um, I definitely love the sound of this guitar with the pick, um, you know, with the, the dryness of the mahogany. Uh, it doesn't overwhelm. I think that's a lot of the, the, the difference between the two of, of why that one is so difficult for me with the pick is, is it's just all those lush overtones of the rose would just really threaten to overwhelm you. And then just so you can hear the sound of the simulated pick technique with this one. So other differences between these two besides that, boy, I can see why you guys have shoulder problems who try to sit and play with the dread. That really hurts. Um, this one has a has a one and three quarter inch nut and has a two and a quarter inch bridge spacing. It actually was supposed to be a, a two and three sixteenths according to the build sheet, but it's it's definitely wider. Um, so that's one difference. Uh, the other difference, that's a long scale, 25 and a half. This is 25 inch. Um, the fretboard radius is very flat on the froggy bottoms, which, which I did know about. You can feel it. It's noticeable. But so far, it really hasn't been an impediment uh, to playing at all. The neck on the Martin is a mod V shape with a PA taper, which I actually like and prefer. Uh, this actually feels like a little bit of a soft V shape. It's not, it's, it's, it's kind of a C bordering on a little bit of V. Uh, I don't know if that's, I've not, uh, I don't remember playing that last froggy. Uh, I know they will make a, a V neck as a custom option if you ask them. So I got a feeling this is their, just their standard neck, kind of a C shape, but it almost feels like there's a little bit of a V there. Uh, again, very comfortable going back and forth. I used to be very uh, snobbish about I needed to have exactly the right string spacing and neck shapes. And as I've played here for 10 years, it's gotten to be where it doesn't matter as much. Uh, one thing I was concerned about was the 2 and 3 sixteenths inch string spacing. I thought this was going to be a five, 2 and 5 sixteenths, but it is a 2 and 3 sixteenths. But it's kind of on the wide side of that. So, and I uh, own several Santa Cruz guitars that had two and three sixteenths inch and I acclimate to them fairly well. So, so this is going to be primarily a finger style guitar um, and almost exclu surely exclusively for uh, live streams on Facebook uh, and Zoom for the acoustic uh, uh, guitar form open mics. Uh, great guitars. I can highly recommend them. Um, I had pretty high expectations. It definitely met and exceeded my expectations. Uh, I can highly recommend a lot of people who are very knowledgeable in froggy bottom guitars said the, the H12 is pretty much the model to get. It's their, their flagship model. And they actually say that on the website that it's, it uh, for the last 20 years has been their most popular and best selling model. So um, they really do it right. I know a couple of people out there are looking into froggy bottoms and this model in particular. So I just wanted to add uh, my, uh, you know, my opinion to the chorus of people highly recommending them. They don't give them away. Uh, bought new today with these options. This model would be about a $10,000 guitar. Obviously I bought it used for significantly less. Uh, you know, a lot of arguments to be made for less expensive guitars out there and they're not wrong. You know, this, this guitar does not sound, you know, nine thousand dollars better than a thousand dollar guitar. But um, it's just uh, it's a, it's a great model. It's a it's a, a good guitar, um, and uh, yeah, highly recommend it. So that's about all I have today. I don't want to drone on too long as I tend to do anyway. 
And I uh, hope you found this valuable. And uh, we'll see you, see you on the farms. Happy New Year. Stay safe.